Judge refusing to give qualified immunity to four Phoenix police officers accused of excessive force in the death of Mohammed Muhammad. The man who had, was homeless and had schizophrenia died during a 2017 arrest. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius has been combing through newly unsealed court records for two days now. Stop moving! Stop moving! Shut up! Muhammad Muhammad yelled from underneath the officers that he couldn't breathe three times. You can hear it on the officers' body cams, but no one helped. In fact, Phoenix officer Oswald Grenier can clearly be seen kneeling with body weight directly on Muhammad's neck for an extended period of time. That's according to federal judge Susan Brnovich in this order on summary judgment that ABC 15 obtained Thursday. In the ruling from August, the judge refused to throw out the excessive force lawsuit against four officers involved in Muhammad's arrest. They watched the 43-year-old father die. She concluded officers Oswald Grenier, Jason Hobble, Ronaldo Canaleo, and Dennis LaRoe would not be eligible for qualified immunity protections. Muhammad, who was homeless and mentally ill, tried to take his dog to a public restroom. Officers were called in, and they arrested him for an old misdemeanor warrant. The judge wrote, there was no evidence officers feared Muhammad would harm them. Still, the officers are accused of forcing the man's handcuffed hands from his back over his head to the front. That painful scenario would be an obvious instance of constitutional misconduct, the judge wrote. She also wrote, applying weight to Muhammad's neck area while he was in the prone position could constitute excessive force. The federal lawsuit will never go to trial. Last month, before these records were unsealed, the city agreed to pay the Muhammad family $5 million. But the city did not admit fault, and the officers were not disciplined, and they were never criminally charged.